Here with some more equipment for Ataka. Going to show you, first of all, a backpack bearing the same name. This is the Ataka 2 from SSO, made from Avizen fabric. This is roughly 2003. The Ataka series is pretty well known in Russia. It's got a removable frame. Uh, it's about 60 liters capacity. Has some other nice features too. Spacious, lots of pockets. It's got a DPM pattern, removable cover on the top of it. Highly recommend the backpack for anyone who needs a piece of SSO equipment. Even the new examples, which have green buckles and are made out of nylon or Oxford fabric, are still recommended. It's a nice piece to have. And you know, everyone needs a backpack to tote their gear in. Also has here the replacement for the Alton helmet. This is the LSHZ 2DT by Armacom. Similar protection to the Alton in terms of, you know, GOST protection. The visor, though, is a little bit easier to see through, though, because it's fully transparent. This model right here came to service in 2005 and was later replaced in 2009 by a modernized version that included a fixed night vision mount and a Picatinny rail. So this is a nice piece, and whereas the Alton right now in the market is going for $800 to $900 due to rarity, you can get these for closer to $400. So for FSB collectors, it's a nice piece to have if you're looking for a ballistic helmet but you're on a budget. Also have here the Redoubt vest, or Redoubt, depending on what kind of way you want to pronounce it. This is a great vest for the middle of 2000s. This one right here is in Korean woodland. But you can get these vests for a bargain, $300, $400, even $500, depending on the condition and the pattern you want. This one here just includes two plates in the front, cover on the back, but you can see other versions that include additional rear plates, radio pouch, etc. It seems that this version is the current heavy vest in the FSB, which replaced the stern that I'm wearing. And even today they have the Redoubt M, which includes Molly, additional collar protection, and some additional uh, features as well. Finally, switch vests. I've got another Survivor Core vest here. This is the early version of the Spetsnaz vest, which seems kind of a variation, a different flavor of the one I was wearing earlier. You've got magazine pouches on the chest. You've got grenade pouches here on the back. It's got hooks for attaching backpacks. I don't have it. This thing is you know, pretty beat up, pretty old. These are hard to get, but it's a nice piece to have, and I really like Survival Core. I think in time it's eventually going to replace SSO in terms of collectability, but what do I know? All right, thanks.